Hi, my name is Michael Sears, I'm 46 and I'm from London, England. My innovation is a connected medical device called the Ostomy Alert. It is a sensor device that sits on the outside of a medical bag, like a stoma bag, and sends a signal to your mobile phone or your tablet, enabling the patients to alert themselves as their bag is filling and allowing the doctors to deliver real-time, accurate uh, information back to the patients. Hello, my name is Giesbert Nijhuis. I live in Amsterdam and I've been paralyzed for over 20 years now. I can only move my head and a bit of my shoulder. And in these 20 years I've been searching for a lot of solutions to everyday problems. Like for example the, the cushion I'm sitting on to prevent pressure wounds. Uh, this photo camera that I can shoot with by moving my arm a little bit. Uh, in my bed I have a head control computer that I control with a dot on my head. And latest is the back support which has exactly the shape of my back. My name is Doron and my son has autism. He's 19 but vulnerable like a 3 year old. My co-founder Neri and I created AngelSense to protect the hundreds of millions of people with special needs. AngelSense is the only monitoring solution designed for the special needs community. We are proud of the many lives we helped save and the thousands of families already gaining peace of mind. Hello, my name is David Day. I'm British and I'm 46 years old. I helped create a computer game to help children with cystic fibrosis to do their PEP therapy. My motivation is because my daughter has cystic fibrosis and it was difficult to watch her struggling with motivation to do the PEP therapy. And we also ran a, a focus group of around uh, 15 patients and the information we had back, the feedback we had back from them was very positive and that they were all engaging more with it too. So it certainly has helped. My entire project started with my grandfather. He and I were very, very close. When he was tucking me into bed at night, he would sing me a lullaby. When we were chasing garbage trucks down the street, he would sing a battle hymn. That was the relationship that we always shared. And now that he's had Alzheimer's, his memory has deteriorated to the extent that he no longer even remembers my name. And the only thing that he remembers are a couple of old songs. One night I was on night watch for Grandpa, and I saw him stepping out of the bed. And that moment, I saw the solution to my family's problem. I thought, why don't I put a pressure sensor on the heel of my grandfather's foot? After beta testing at several care facilities, I noticed that a lot of patients didn't want to wear socks asleep, so I came up with a non-sock solution, which uses a change in a person's body angle or position to detect whenever the patient wanders. My name is Pavel Korbatsky, I'm from Russia, and I'm 21. I made electronic white cane and glasses for blind people. My devices were speaking with their voice about things that people couldn't see. I was doing things I loved, and at the same time saw how my devices can help people with disabilities. Doing my gadgets, I understood that I want to help people with disabilities in the future. Hello, my name is Duncan Fitzsimons. I'm a product designer from London. I decided to make a wheel that could fold uh, when I realised that the size of the wheel which determines what you can and can't do with the design of a bike or a wheelchair. One of the best things about when the product first went on sale uh, was to hear surprising stories from people who now use it, uh, saying that, for example, uh, they could share a taxi with a friend of theirs uh, for the first time because the wheelchair took up a lot less space. Mm -hmm. 